All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the first installment of Commander. I hardly know her, and we have <laughs> we, we have <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like, well, guess he's out. Uh, we've got uh, two of my friends from work, uh, both Joshua and Cade. Hello. And uh, my brother. Uh, his name isn't important. And I gotta say, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very confused today. I thought we were, I thought we were playing Pokemon. I got oh, sleeves and my game mat. I even got my zones labeled. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm afraid we're gonna have to... No, just, just, just leave. One minute in, everybody is uncomfortable. That's my kind of program. Um, but yeah, I've been talking. I've been trying to set this up for like a couple weeks now, and I finally just went and fucking did it. Uh, let me just wipe these off. And, so it's okay uh, to swear on this program. Go oh, ahead. absolutely, absolutely. The first minute is passed. We can say all the fuck words we want. Sound like adults on this program. So. Well. Oh, the first thing we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll for high to see who goes first. And then we're going to go around the table in turn order and say what our decks do. Okay. All right. I got a nine. This is where we all roll off the tables that we have. I got a six. I got a six. I got a ten. Oh, wow. So... That means you're going last, control deck. I know, right? So, all right, Kay, just give us a quick deck tech rundown. This all right, one pretty... Bug, this one bug keeps going on. Fucking Matt, sorry. Rel relatively uh, new to magic in general, but i um running a Prosh deck that was originally built to be a Hinzy Blitz deck. So I have a lot of uh, return from the graveyard, spells, and um, several board wipes to try to get things in my graveyard to return it back out. That's pretty much it. I definitely like the reanimator vibes. All right, so what I've got is I wanted to build a deck around Yoshimaru specifically, and I was like, what's another partner that gives a shit about counters? This guy. Uh, so basically, it's uh, plus one, plus one counters matter with a whole bunch of legendaries. And every, basically, every legend you've seen printed in these colors, it says... If a plus one plus one counter is anywhere on the field, have sex is in the deck. Um, and that's basically the idea. There's a little bit of aristocrat stuff in there, but that's not really important. Uh, so we'll move on to the next deck of the same colors, I suppose. Um, I'm also playing a partner pairing, um, Kodama and Ravos. Um, Kodama likes big things to come out for free. Ravos likes to bring them back when y'all inevitably blow them up. Pretty cool. Alright, mine's the boring one. I'm the fun police. <laughs> Literally, uh, I just want to resolve my commander and board wipe, counter your spells until I beat you to death with little 1 1 fairy dragon. Beautiful. Alright. We're combo out. Now that we got that started, try a mouthful of pizza. You can start us off, Cade. Feel free. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Draw for turn. All right. Then I'll play a mountain and pass. All right. Draw for the turn step. I'm going to start with a command tower. Tap it and put the 1-1 one, one out. And pass the turn. Beautiful. Turn one, commander. Let's go. All right. Um, let's see. I think I am just going to play a Dark Boar Pathway and pass the turn. Love me some MDFC lands. Uh oh. I'll play Tundra and pass. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Somebody spent more money on their deck than everybody else. All right. I've had Draw. it for back when I played TNT on in competitive. That one land costs the same amount as my whole deck. All right, I'll play uh, Rakdos Cranarium and pick up my mountain. 
and pass. That's tapped. Oh, yeah. how, many, how many cards you got in hand, Cade? I have... I'm uh, going to discard Mountain. Thank you. No I, should be, I should be passing the turn with Spacebar, shouldn't I? Yeah, I, I did should. it for you. No oh, problem. Thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. I am going to play a forest. Something that taps for the color of green. <laughs> and play Noble Heritage. And pass the turn. If you guys would like me to read a card at any moment, I will do so. I'm oh. going to play Vault of Champions. Uh, because I have at least two opponents. It comes in play untapped. So which one of us is your friend, then? Uh, we'll let the game decide that. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and tap double black, and I will sign in blood. I'll take two damage, and draw two cards. And pass my turn. And I will need a discard on my end step. I'm going to discard Auric Lore Mage. I'm going to play Floated Strand for turn. Crack it, go down. One. What's the name of that card? Uh, Floated Strand. It's oh, the fetch okay. land for uh, Azurius, yeah. I think. Yeah. Or blue White. Got it. Get an island. Then I'll cast Ledger Shredder and pass. It's a Ledger strong. Shredder is just a uh, just a dude. A, a one three flyer that whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, it gets a it can connives. Just draw a card, discard a card if it's a non land, get a plus one plus one counter, and I'll pass with that. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, apparently Spell Table is afraid of it because it's telling me this is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> is I want to see if one of my lights are better for lighting. How do I'll we play on uh, uh, Underground Stadium? How do we Sorry. highlight uh, the the card to pop up in this little magnifying? So you can just screen. click on the card. Oh. On the on the person's camera. It is a like massive glare. <laughs> It ain't That's doing better. nothing for me. Yeah, it, it's a oh, little it finicky. <laughs> it, it thinks your flooded strand is a secluded step. Uh, sorry, Cade, you go on with your turn. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Um, and that's all I'm going to do for my turn. <clears throat> Actually, hold on. Oh. Your noble heritage. Yeah, my upkeep is going to trigger. Okay. What does noble heritage do? Uh, commander creatures have uh, you own have when this creature enters the battlefield and at the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. For each opponent who does, you gain protection from that player until your next turn. Cool. All right, so I'm going to tap for three then and play out Shivan Devastator as a two-two. He just <laughs> want, he wants a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> I want a blocker, and I want those one ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the <laughs> counters. And then I, and then I uh, which, uh, Kate, I have noticed if you put the die or counter on the text, the thing can read it a little better. Okay, I'm gonna play this swamp. Oh, like down here. Oh wait, hold yeah. on. Upkeep trigger of noble heritage. Just not over the art. <laughs> I oh, uh, actually, hey. I'm uh, going to oh, put... that Fuck it. Okay. I'm gonna put two on Yoshimaru. You guys would like to sign plus one plus one counters. You know, I'd love to, but... I'll put two on mine. Yeah, i put two on mine. Okay, I'm going to play the Swamp. Means I can't counter you, get in. True! Do it or blow up, uh, well, target your stuff. At least not this turn. Yeah. I'm going to cast my other commander, a Rayhan, which will also trigger Noble Heritage, because he's a commander creature I own. Uh, so I'm going to put another two on Yoshimaru. And Rayhan himself enters with three. Don't you get a plus one plus one counter on Yoshimaru? I do enters? also get a plus one plus one counter on Yoshimaru. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else want to gain any more? <laughs> <laughs> do you, would you guys like to gain more plus one plus one counters? <laughs> Can we? Yeah. 
Well, yeah, it doesn't affect the amount of turns we have to do it, so... Wait, so, um... How... Because Rayhan is what also... Rayhan's also a commander creature that I own, and he entered the battlefield, which triggers Noble Heritage. Uh, so you guys... Anybody oh, can, I see. Okay, like. yeah, I'll, I'll go up to a... That's two more plus one plus one counters, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Right, no well, downside. I'm going to go I to the danger. Switch, switch over to this big boy. <laughs> All right, that's six. So Gatus told me he's going to take them every time. Uh, <laughs> uh, this does mean that you wouldn't be able to block me if I wanted you for the business. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, who is open for the business? Everyone. Uh, at this point, everyone. I must say everybody, because everybody, everybody that could took your deal. Okay. Yeah. So, I have to ask the two flyers on the field. If I don't poke you right now, will I not get poked by the flyer? Uh, yeah, I won't poke you with my flyer. I won't poke you the next turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it doesn't matter for this turn, anyway. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Um... Hmm. Trying to think of what what Josh was up to. What's that in your graveyard, Josh? Let me. It's a uh, Oric Lore Mage. He's just a oh, dude. Yeah, he is just a guy. This is a very hard decision. Uh, and uh, that Shivan Devastator is going to get huge. So I'm sorry, Joshua, but I got to come at you for five or six rather. I mean, there ain't shit I can do about that. That is six <laughs> Yoshimaru damage. Six. Okay. Um, oh, this reminds me of uh, Jessica and Ashai. Like, just making uh, your commander really big. One, two, I three, thought four, I thought about that pairing too because it's Jessica. You know how much I love that uh, mm -hmm. shard. And with that, I will pass the turn. All right. Well, I'm going to continue to do not much. <laughs> play a planes. And I cultivate. And hey. as I search for my lands, I will pass the turn. Yeah, we ramping out here. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to find two forests. Alright. One of them out of the battlefield. I'll play a prairie string into the battlefield tap since I can't control only one basic land, and I will have to pass with that. This one guy, this one guy won't go away. No ledger shredder pokes. Interesting. Yeah. My life total is uh, not that good, so I have to protect it, ultimately. Especially when I have a Devastator, and then you have uh, a large what dog. A large 6-6 six, six, and a 3. I'm the control player. I'm supposed to stay back and just wait for you to try something. All right. Try something. But I passed my turn. Okay. All right. I'll untap and draw. Damn it. Oh, command Tower. The best art for Command Tower. Hmm. That's the best art for Command Tower. That's really like nice. Oh, 40k has something to say about that. All right, so, so I'll, I still like the Judgment one. I'll tap and play out Grime Gorger. Move it over. That has less of a glare. There we go. And spell table, please. So I don't know what that does. <laughs> What, Grime Gorger? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's got a menace, and then whenever it attacks, I can exile up to one card of each type from the defending player's graveyard, and then I put one-on-one -on -one counter for each card exiled that way. Ooh. It's pretty nice. It, it gets... seems that we're on, on a similar strategy here with the counters. So, yeah, <laughs> I like counters. <laughs> Scoot, try scooting it just a smidge to the left. I think it might be too close to the other card. Because it's my because oh. spell table had it and then didn't. Yeah, oh, spell yeah. table's like hey. it's here for a second. That might help pulling it down like that. And uh, pass my turn on that. All right, we'll draw for my draw step. Oh, I gotta un I gotta remember to untap. You guys should really be like, oh no, you don't get to do that. 
and upkeep trigger for noble heritage. Who wants counters? I know I do. Mm. You know, I'd love some. <laughs> I'll, I'll take some counters. I'm not going to take just, any counters. That's just two. <laughs> yeah. No. Sean, Sean is like, oh, okay, I don't want to get hit for eight in a minute. <laughs> yeah. I want to be able to do something if you try to hit me with a big I'm shock in. So, um, Bo, it's actually, it's eight, it's four counters, correct? Because you have two commanders out. And oh, yeah, it is. You're so correct. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put two on Shivan Devastator. And I'm going to put two on Grand Gorger. So Yoshimaru's a 10-10 already. Um, yeah. Perfectly, perfectly balanced video game. Uh, video game? Yes. Not I'm going to tap two for a Selesnia Signet. And then we're going to plug one into this to make two, three. Veronis' Monument. Which does? Uh, green, green creature, white, green creature uh, spells. Green, 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 green. You cast cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, target creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains trample until end of turn. And trigger Yushimaru. That is, yep. It's a legendary artifact. I saw you using these in your uh, Mardu Legends deck. I was like, this is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a move to the poke step. So I get absolutely murdered. Well, no, because Cade took my uh, took my bargain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, I've got a hand and two open mana. Don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's so rude if I poke Josh again. <laughs> it, it would be quite rude. Uh dude, I think I think I might have to put uh, Eric on better habit here because I don't like how I've been threatened. <laughs> hey, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna come at you for eleven. Is that a swords? You gonna swords my guy? I'm going to path to exile it. Oh, cool ramp. And yep, since it's not, lands, since it's not, since it's not dying, I don't get the Rayhan. Yep. We'll put that on him. Now he costs a whole three to cast, guys. Perfectly he balanced. He's also not eleven. I will, pass the, I will pass the turn while I get my basic E part. All right, Josh, get something out there. <laughs> Let's see if I can do anything. Oh, uh, well, I missed it. Never mind. No. What did you have to do? Uh, Legend Shredder triggered on your uh, monument. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can do something. I'm so mad. Uh, this Rishkar's expertise is on the bottom of my deck. That would have been so cool to do this turn. <laughs> Four we'll mana. Discard, but Dovin's Veto. Oh, there hey. <laughs> nice. Uh, get to oh, hey. Okay. Not a fan it's of that, this? but I guess I've got to deal with that smothering tie. The Double Masters 2022 oh. alt art as well. Yep. Yeah. It's a good one. And I have not put any treasure tokens in this deck, but that's okay. My Prosper deck is nearby. Infinite tokens. I also have those. Actually, you know what else is nearby? Uh, well, I guess this is your show, Gideon. Uh, how, how do you feel about other Commander Show's products being advertised? I could give a shit less, honestly. Okay. Uh, one moment. It's good to get that path to exile all the way when it's not so devastating. Yeah, because 11 is not menacing of, of any form or fashion. <laughs> True. I just didn't I know you were trying to take me out so soon. <laughs> it's only 11 commander damage. You'd be fine. 
Yeah, I know, right? Sorry about that. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll pass my turn. Sorry about that. It's all right. The power of editing. They didn't even know what happened. So, so you drew? Yes. You pay in two? No. Josh Lee Kwai. <laughs> and I'll have to pass. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that either. All right, untap, drawing, and I am not going to pay two, Josh. Ashley, quiet. <laughs> Play out of mouth. Love it. Yeah, I'll pay in two. All right, red, black, green, and then one, two, and I'm going to play out Crash, the Blood Braided. Oh, hell yeah. Put it on the one. Down. That's one, a one. fun card. Yeah. Let's, oh hell like yeah! That. This is a plus one plus encounter deck. I like that. <laughs> I like that card. Me, me and um, Kane are doing that, like uh, you know the the meme with the two guys muscle bound, just linked hands, one one counters. And I'm gonna swing this uh, five five grime gorger at Josh. Why? Because you have the most cards in your graveyard. Yeah, but and, only two card types. Yeah, yeah, but who else has two card types in the graveyard? Who, who else has a smothering tithe as well? I mean, I'm scared <laughs> of that. Who can swing for 11 in, like, a turn? Gosh, you want me to swing an 8 at you too, bro? Come on, I'm swinging the weak one at you. Um, how how many yeah. two card types you said? Yeah, so what, what, what are you exiling from my graveyard? I imagine Auric is definite, because he's the only creature. You got yep. sign in blood and cultivate. I'll do uh, sign in blood. Auric right. is the one that puts a instant to your graveyard, right? Uh, he can put anything. He is in tomb on a creature. Oh, okay. So that's seven coming your way, Josh. Uh, well, Dang. there ain't shit I could do about it, so go to twenty-five. Come on, Mobzon, you have all the best uh, mod check or best wipes? removal. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, rather, there is something I could do about it, but I feel like I may need that for something else. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just know I'm about to get Definitely. counters next turn, and it makes me upset. <laughs> I wonder why I get in. No, I have a feeling this is definitely one of those spells that's going to get countered. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna recast my win con while somebody's got three open mana. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Who couldn't love this win con? So it's, it's a very good boy. Yeah, it's the best. It's not the best boy. I do have the, the origin, original original Yoshimaru. <laughs> oh, there's a. This isn't the first one. No, the original is just a vanilla. No, oh. it's the one. It's a one two, and a two. two uh, I think it's a two two. Yes. Oh, that's Ishimaru, isn't it? Oh yeah, that is my bad. Hound. I think that's what the card Ishimaru. is. Uh, I think that's what the cards. Uh, Harkening back to though, yeah, potentially because it's a one mana white dog. <laughs> yeah, it was on EDH Rex suggested cards like this is a vanilla. What are you doing? My uh, my input on this big brain magic conversation is I like dogs. <laughs> True. <laughs> this is why I went to start building this thing. I was like, I really like dogs, and this is a dog. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. This guy is all flavor text. All right, Cade, you got anything else? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> my fault. My fault. Hold on. Edit, edit that out. <laughs> uh, Man, this is double cool. heritage trigger. Is that before or after your draw step? This is before my draw step. Okay, just checking. I know I'm good. I know I've been fucking it up. I'm not going to put any counters. I'm going to no, be my... any counters either. I'm going to be I don't have an option. <laughs> I'm going to draw. Are you going to pay the two? I'm thinking about it. You know what? <laughs> There's your two. Damn. All right. <laughs> you, you you have officially been taxed. I have. <laughs> I thought Elminster was the control deck. Uh. <laughs> No, you're mistaken. 
True. Uh, it costs one less because Ronus, but we're gonna try it. <laughs> Defiler oh, or Vigor? Cool. Yeah. Oh, do you? okay. Uh... Has Trample as an additional cost to play uh, to cast green permanent spells. I may pay two life. The spells cost one green less to cast if you paid life this way. This effect only reduces the amount of green mana you pay. Uh, whenever you cast a green permanent spell, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Oh, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah, it's one of the new cards from Dominar. Yeah, they have like yeah, the full a... Defiler set, right? Yeah, I've got everything yeah. but uh, the white one. I think I have the white one. I I have one of each. And this will trigger Ronos's Monument. We go on cast, at least. Uh, Rayhan's going to get plus two, plus two, and uh, the Trample. So okay. Thank you. Uh, well, you get... It's the same one every time. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Pokes. What are you doing over there with those treasures, Josh? Chilling. If you come at you, if you come at me, you might find out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh shit! I might want to like hang back because uh, K did not take my bargain this time. And clearly, I need to defend myself. So. I, I I just want to be able to defend myself. <laughs> you know. You saw an eleven eleven. You saw an 11 11, you're like, ah, no, no. I none. saw it smack somebody, and I don't like that. So, you know. scary boy. And now, if something of mine dies, I can buff Crash with it. So, at least, you know. True. Uh, I think I'm just going to hold back then and pass the turn. All right. All right. I, I, I had my big moment. Why is Josh at 25? What happened? Uh, I smacked Giddy, and I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> my mind blanked. Oh yeah, you swatted him for seven as well. My bad. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, Josh. I had to buff him up a little bit. <laughs> that defiler is a six-six, right? Yes, yes. All right. Good to know. Good to know. He's got a spell on hand that does six damage to target uh, thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, All right. Is, I'm is going this, to. Are we Kodama gaming? Not Kodama yet, but we are Ravosing. Oh, nice. I forget the text on this card. Most people do. It's a really cool card. Spell table, yeah, it... Other creatures you uh, control get plus one, plus one. Okay. And at the beginning of my upkeep, I can target creature in my graveyard and return it to my hand. Oh, cool. Sorry. I, uh, I made you get rid of the creature in your graveyard. My bad. Uh... It's the foiled etch one as well from uh, yeah. Commander Legends. Absolutely. Beautiful. Nice. nice. Right. Uh, with that, I will pass turn. And and every, everybody's yeah. cast their commander, I think. That's not true. All in his end step, I'm going to Swords to Plowshares, the annoying. Uh, what's the thing? Defiler of Vigor? What in the fuck? Defiler of Vigor. What in the fuck? <laughs> He's done yeah, nothing to turn. you. You go get a treasure for me. Also, I get six ah, life. Yes. Josh Lee Quiet. Hmm? What do you say, Josh Lee Quiet? He's putting his treasures down, that's why he's saying it. <laughs> this is where we pipe in like a Bruno Mars song. That's my turn. I don't like that. What, what happened? I'm, I'm passing my turn. Why are oh. you on draw go? I don't like this. Not a fan. Oh, and he's, he's, also, missed, like, he's also missed like four yes. land drops. Josh, did you I actually? Uh, I play a reasonable amount of lands in this deck too. I, I did for uh, Sean, but uh, am I okay. getting one from you? Oh, uh, let's find out. Uh, yeah, you'll get one from me. Yeah, you will. All right. Josh All right, I'll play out Temple of the False God. If only That's you had fit. that on field. Yeah. <laughs> then you'd just be able to tap it for the smothering time. <laughs> yeah. Like, it could be good. All right, so... Himself. So, red and one, and that's a second red with one floating. And that's two, three, four, five. So five and two red, and I'll play out Stalking Vengeance. Ah, it's got ah. haste. Haste, and whenever another creature I control dies, it deals damage equal to its power to target player or planeswalker. That's pretty cool. Ah, mod check, board wipe? <laughs> uh, board wipe might be bad for us, actually, at this point. Yeah, board board wipe might kill somebody. 
Yeah. We, we'd kill Josh, and that's that's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> well, it, 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 to it's take. Cade's target, and currently I've done nothing to him. Okay, so I'm gonna get in your life totals over our starting, so you're gonna get be my target for this. Um, I have I'm no assuming... cards in grave. I'd say nobody has cards in grave except for my uh, cultivate. I have four cards in my grave. Do you? Oh, you do. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah. We can't see your graveyard then. Question mark? Question mark? All right, so I'm gonna swing the Grime Gorcher at uh, at you then, Sean. Is it uh, before you declare attackers? Is it yes. declare uh, attack declaration or when it deals combat damage? Uh, whenever it attacks, exile okay. up to one to crit. All right, uh, so I will respond to you going to combat. Mm-hmm. I'll chain the vapor. Your uh, the thing. Okay. What does that do exactly? It Bounces returns it to your hand. hand, and then you may sacrifice a land to make a copy of the spell and do it to somebody else or me. But so you, you can sacrifice a land and do and bounce this thing yourself if you want, but you don't have okay, to. Okay, and if I sack the creature, um, so that creature will be land. dying, right? A land. Yes. You have sac sac oh, a second sac sac land. Oh, I got you. Okay. So this bounces to my hand then. Yes. Grand Portrait does. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess I won't be attacking at you with that. All right, Shiv and Devastator, and um, your commander's a 5-5 five five right now, right? Yes. Okay. I will trade. Don't think I won't. <laughs> I'll Rayhan means this. nothing to him. Shiv and Devastator at you then, Gideon. Right, I will take eight, because I don't damage. have a flyer. All right, and I'll pass my turn. Okay. Oh, that's me. That's uh, that is my turn then. I play magic, guys. I promise. <laughs> guys, what format are we playing? Is this popper? No, it's not because there's a smothering tile on the table. Yeah. I have very drawn shiny a card. Do also, you pay the two? Like, I'm thinking. You know what? You can I'm have just it. I'm scared you of the Kadama player it. because of all the mana, oh. but I'm also like yeah. the Prosh player. Oof. Alright, thinking. Okay, I need. As much as I love having four Josh Lee Kwais on here, I need to switch to dice. Okay, and it's your upkeep, right? So, Noble Heritage, is oh. that gonna happen right now? You're so correct. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I've got one thing to put counters on, and I know I wanna do it. I've got protection for me. Quick, quick question. You get protection, correct? Not yes. your creatures? I get protection. Yes. Mm. Then, yes, I will put two plus and plus encounters on Ravos. I don't like that. I don't like the way you phrased that before doing it. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'm intensely worried now. Wait, so how does it work exactly? So you get, like, you as a player get protection? Yeah, we, yeah. we can't target him, but we can yeah. target his stuff. Okay. Hey, can we block his creatures if they're coming at us? No, we can't. Yeah. Uh -oh. Because he has protection from us, so we can't. Uh -oh. oh, okay. I'm going to cast Anafenza, the Kintree Spirit. Nice. Unfamiliar with that one. Uh, whenever Good another non token creature bolster. enters the battlefield, bolster one, which means the weakest creature gets a plus one plus one counter. And if it's a tie, right. you can choose. Neat. Cool. And this will trigger Ronus's monument. I'm going to give Rayhan plus two plus two and trample. Um, I'm going to plug this into the Selesnia Signet and then use this for Lazel, Vlacketh's Champion. Trigger a Legend Shredder. Yes, yes. This will also trigger Anafenza. Uh, and also La Lazel. So it's a, a white hardened scale. La yeah, Lazel says if you would put one or more counters on a creature or a planeswalker you can control, but that many plus one. And then an offense is the weakest creature on the battlefield, so it'll get bolstered one, but two because of Lazel. That's a good card. I was thinking about putting it in my uh, my Mardu Legend deck. And oh, that that actually does sound good because uh, you'd get three off of that plus two, wouldn't you? 
Uh, yeah. Ronus's, Ronus's monument will trigger again. This will make Rayhan an 11-11 with Trample. Mm -hmm. Um, what's the power of your creatures that are tapped, not tapped, uh, Cade? I got a five-five and a three-three. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like eleven. Uh, go mm. to combat. Mm-hmm. Uh, war were declared, at Cade. <laughs> okay. It's eleven. Is that the trample. Uh, that's the only one you're sending at me? Yes, these are the two have summoning sickness. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'll take eleven. God, and it's commander damage, right? Yes, sir. That's a rough time. And with that, I will pass turn. All right. Alrighty. This is what big the deck does. Brocade. I make big boy and turn him sideways. Ah, uh, yes. I play a beautiful, Rainbow bountiful Stringer. promenade. Oh, Never mind. <laughs> Damn, rub it in. <laughs> I don't like the fact these have how much mana? 11 mana? I don't like it. I'm scared. Uh, don't worry about it. It's, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. I'm going to play Kodama of the East Tree. Alright. Nice. Josh uh, is the only one of us that hasn't missed a land drop, I think. I mean, Abzan shouldn't miss land drops. I have 40 in here, and I don't know what's happening. I've missed <laughs> two. <laughs> I think I've uh, missed Speaking the, of two, I'm going to sacrifice two trigger. Uh-oh. And I'm going to play the Great Henge. Trigger, Ledger Shredder. Oh, yeah, Trig that is... You do have a seven-power creature, don't you? Yep, and I will trigger Kodama with that. And I'm going to put out Belligerous Witherbloom. Oh. Okay. All right. All right, Blue Blair. Uh, start doing things. <laughs> let's go off. Go off, fam. All right. Non-token creature just entered the battlefield. It will get right, a side. plus one plus one counter. And I will draw a card. That's true. The, the Great Henge does, in fact, have that text on, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> it does. So who dies today? Because he can just untap his lands. I mean, I could, but I don't feel like going to 15 right now. Uh, so, Especially when Rayon a... could actually come over for that much next turn. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I'm uh, past the turn. All right. Uh, and in Sean's upkeep... I have something on your instep. Oh, okay. I'm going to tap two and delve away... Oh, this is why he came at your Grime Gorger, because he's going to dig through time later. Yeah. <laughs> Five, six, seven, six. Delving away six. One time. mana draw three. Well, two no, mana. I'm thinking treasure cruise. Two mana, my bad. Yeah, two mana get two. Yeah, my bad. I'm thinking treasure it's cruise. Kind of, it's kind of better two, treasure cruise, three, honestly. Four, five, six, seven. Are y'all on spell table? No. We are. We are. All right. Um, I might be down later. I just got done hosting the sneak peek, so I will be home probably about the next 20 minutes and be and maybe oh, ready. Hey, it's, it's Ryan. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Ryan. Hello. Like I said, um, if I play, I have to play with the Discord video because for some reason my camera doesn't like the spell, the spell table uh, audio output, so that's very sad for me. Yeah. Alright, well, I will probably see y'all later. Alright. All right. So, what's that card you, you played out, Sean? Uh, Dig Through Time. It Dig has, Through Time, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll look at the top, yeah, top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand, the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. Oh, that's very cool. At least I won't be missing a land drop this next turn. Hey, man. You, you ain't got to come at me sideways although you've you've been in more pain than the rest of us yeah i've missed every land drop after oh, wait, turn Kate three did, Kate didn't miss a land drop he just bounced one back to his hand yeah yeah but then i right, discarded so you passed it to me right 
Yep, so your upkeep, I make a pest. Which okay. does trigger Kodama, and I have nothing to put out for zero. Do you imagine he just puts a land out? Yeah, unfortunately no lands in hand. I'll play Edicar Waste is my land for turn. Oh, that reminds me. I have missed land drops. I just ramped. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got ramped by somebody else. <laughs> Well, unless I draw a land, I'm, I'm not going to be... Uh... <laughs> uh, also, do you pay the two? Oh, no. Yep. So, uh, up to four, exactly. Trevor. I'm scared of this Kodama player and all his mana. Would you like to pay two? Uh... Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not doing anything. What you talking about? See so the Smothering there. Tides occurs after my draw? Yeah. Yes, as if soon you as you draw, you... any time you draw, it yeah, triggers... Yeah, you look at the card, and once you've... De uh, you can look at the card, and then you determine if you pay the two. Okay. Cool. He's in the tank. Yeah, I am in the tank. Yeah, because of the wording of Dig Through Time, it did not trigger the Smothering Tithe. Oh, go on. Use your blue board wipe. The phasing of Zalfir right now. <laughs> I would actually be very really sad about that because that exiles. I'd, I'd be very sad too, but it, we wouldn't take a bunch of damage from Gade. Yeah, I just kind of have to do this. Oh, I can't do it. Damn. You read the wrong card. It's okay. I think I'll just set up. I'm going to play Ghostly Prison. Creatures can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. And then I will play Mana Vault. Oh, you get oh. Uh, you get the Leisure Shredder too for that. Yep. Nice. Mana Vault's an expensive card, huh? Oh yeah. It's forty something dollar. Well, it was. That printing's not 40. Already. That printing is not 40. <laughs> that printing is not 40. Yeah. And it's only 40 due to its recent printing. It's on a steady climb. I would not know. I will discard. My deck's missing a board wipe because my meat hook hasn't come in yet. I'll discard a chain veil. What? Mine has. Wait, oh. you're discarding chain veil? Yes. Yeah. That's concerning. What's uh, in that hand? <laughs> you said pass? Yes, sorry. Alright, no problem. I keep on okay. that it's space. Oh, that's good. I don't mind doing it. Uh, I just... So, Cade's upkeep. I make another pass. Trigger Kodama. Once again, I have nothing. Oh, that's an 8. That fell over. Alright, drawing and looking at it. Would you like to pay the two? I'm looking at it! <laughs> Let me look at it. I know, I'm just, just posing uh, the question. Let me see. Uh, it is a May ability, so I have to ask. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. Ristic study ass enchantment. Small. Yep, so I, I, I'm up to five treasure then. Uh oh. Which, I guess, technically also triggers Kodama, but again, nothing for zero. Somebody dies next turn, I think. Ethenge? Ethenge. Uh oh. Potentially, yes. Yeah, Not for me either. I don't, I don't like that. Alright, green. One, two. Yep, three, four. I'm gonna play a uh, Metodic Slime. Ooh. That's a slimy boy. That is a slimy boy. When I've got, I've got two, two remaining. Oh wow, this is just, this is just like, oh, have five whole blockers, intermittently, essentially. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Sounds like a you valid. Don't, you don't wanna, you don't wanna poke me again? <laughs> Gideon's upkeep. Uh, I make a, another pest. Noble heritage game. Who wants the counters? Come on down and get your counters. I'm, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Uh, Witherbloom will take two counters. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, he's now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh -oh. Actually, no, sorry, he's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I forgot about Ravos' first line of text. And then I will draw step, thinking... You may have the treasure. I feel like I feel like we're at a point where it doesn't matter. <laughs> Possibly could could have something to do with Witherbloom. Because if he wants to kill us, he can just untap his lands. I think. I'm gonna play this Radiant Grove tap. It's only in here because fetch lands exist. Uh. <laughs> ah, Going to Swamp and then plug this Faux Rest into my Selesnia Signet. Or Nakara Lair Scavenger. This will trigger a bunch of things. I'm going to first give Rehan plus two plus two. I'm sorry, what was the card you played? Uh, Nakara uh, Lair Scavenger. Alright, spell table. There we go. Okay, oh, uh, it's the, one of the partners. Yeah, so on, on the ETB, I'm going to be able to search Yannick. And then Anafenza is going to bolster two, basically, onto Nakara, because she's the weakest thing on the field. Alright, I'm just going to use a random dice. I was hoping to keep it uh, orange-themed, but... We can't have nice things. And then Ronus' Monument is going to make Rehan an 11-11 with Trample again. So I'm going to go nice. get Yannick. Yannick and the, the one you just played are two of my favorite partner pairings. I almost made them the partners for the deck until I was like, no, I want Dog. The only reason why I can't is because like I, play it, I played it why don't I just go back to playing Gave? I have Gave in this deck as well. Gave is such a cool card. You know, he's outside of, uh, I guess, Azuri, Claw of Progress. He's my favorite commander. So, uh, Where is Yannick? Did I scroll past him? This isn't Commander versus. I don't lose a point because there's no points. Where is it? I know it's in the deck. Specifically for this interaction. So I'm guessing you're going to exile your commander, make all of your creatures huge, and then replay your commander next turn? Uh, that would be the smart thing, but I don't have four mana. Oh, wait, no, it's a green creature. I forget that this card has text on it. Or color identity, you mean? Yeah. Okay, I could do that. I really could. That's actually not a bad idea. Although I've already given Rayhan the boost, so that'd be a bit silly. Okay. Hey, Gideon. You can give Rayhan the boost again, and then it counts its power, not the plus one plus one counter. Well, it counts the plus one plus one counters, but it counts the total power, so you get more plus one plus one counters from all of your What's creatures. going on? What's going on, Josh? What you get? What you? What you? What you trying to put down? Um. So, any any anything coming at me this turn? <laughs> Potentially. Ah, uh, that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> uh. It's trigger on the stack. I could do something. I don't think you want me to do it. Replay Yoshimaru. Is that a threat, Joshua? No, I'm just having a conversation. <laughs> Alright, so, Noble Heritage will trigger since Yoshimaru entered the battlefield. Would anyone like any counters? As I already have this turn, I will gladly take two more on to Witherbloom. Anybody else? Anybody else feeling counter I'm going to attack me. I'll, I'll take the counter since you can't attack me this turn anyway. I'm good on taking the counters. So, I will put two, which will become three, onto... Hmm. I could be spicy here, because Josh can't block me. Yeah? I could be extremely spicy. 
He does have a very menacing board. I'm gonna put the three on Rayhan. Okay. And this will also trigger Ronus's monument, give him plus two plus two again. So he is a sixteen sixteen with trample. So question for you, Josh. <laughs> What do you do with those treasures if I swing at you? If you swing at me, you'll find out. Otherwise, they're just hanging out. <laughs> oh, cards in hand, by the way. Uh, five. Oh, Wait, wow. Six. Yeah. I got plenty of cards in hand. <laughs> he just has it, Gideon. He just has it. Also, I forgot to bolster for Anna Fenza, but it's on a May. Which, so, so that you know I'm not lying by spell table. <laughs> six cards in hand. Uh, that's really tempting to just still do it. Uh, I think even... Okay, honestly, I think even if you stack block, I don't think my Rayhan dies here, does it? That's eight. Okay, it does. Um, but then, I'd be, it able, dies, then I'd be able to distribute, yeah. 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 I'd be able to jizz my fucking counters everywhere. He would also kind of half the block, wouldn't he? Because he's already got 11 Rayhan damage. Yeah. Also, cleans to. off all that horrid stuff that you've got going on. <laughs> True. I'm, I'm really scared of the... the Guys, I'm going to need some input help here. What do you think is a smart decision, uh, uh, Sean? What do you think is the... I will say out of... Uh... You gotta, you gotta make sure he has it. If he has the response, then yeah, I already, good for him. But yeah. he, he's already got a really demanding board state, and even if he was able to deal with your sixteen, sixteen beater, he's gonna have to put in a lot of decent resources into it. And he is threatening the most damage on the board. You know what, Josh? We are gonna put you on better habit. Sixteen of you. Okay. Anything else? No. Does need okay. blockers? In response, well. I will sacrifice one treasure for a white, tap mm -hmm. the Great Hinge, gain two life, and I will present you with a generous gift. Oh, thanks. That does destroy him, so he dies and he gets to distribute these. So True. that's a 16 16 that just died? Yeah. Yes. Whenever another creature dies, I could put X 1 1 counters on Crash. Yep. So, so he's going to become welcome, a Dave. seven. Or he's going to become a uh, those sixteen counters, right? I don't. So think, I don't think you saying you're welcome makes you any less of a target to him. He's a nineteen nineteen. I've done nothing to Cade. Somebody has hit him for eleven. Yeah, Commander. that was just this was just us bringing our differences out. We learned that we were friends. We've moved past that. A different tone of voice when he's got the sixteen sixteen. Yes, <laughs> that is how that works. Should I should I put like a sword here because Rayon was holding a sword? <laughs> no longer has it. Uh, I will get to distribute twelve plus one plus one counters onto a target <laughs> creature. You have fun with that. I did. Um, pass the turn. Okay. This is twice uh, now I've been shit on. <laughs> hey, but this is you twice shit on yourself. Real <laughs> player. Uh, upkeep. I'm gonna switch the dice again because I've run out of tokens for the moment. You mean you I get a have, pest. You don't have like seventy-three pest tokens. Nah, doesn't fit in the deck box. And then I will draw. Unfortunately, I don't get a uh, treasure token. <laughs> treasure token from my own draw. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I think that card would, be, would banned be banned if that was the case. You just do <laughs> mono. You just do white uh, with every card draw spell that they have. It would be extremely busted. All right. So like three uh, then... card draw spells. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to play the Immortal Sun. I don't know what that does. 
Uh, players can't activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities. Oh. Sorry, Sean. Uh, oh. <laughs> at, at the beginning of my draw step, I draw an additional card. Uh, spells I cast cost one less to cast, and creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Damn. Trigger oh. Kodama. <laughs> Sean, your camera just cut out. Okay, there's that. I think, I think that was intentional. <laughs> it was intentional. Oh! <laughs> My whole deck's been turned off, guys. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, so yeah, Trigger uh, Kodama. Uh, uh, I will put out Luminous Broodmoth. Oh, hey, hey samesies. Hey, Josh. Yes? Are, are we going to uh, alliance... For a little bit, <laughs> I, sounds good to me. All right, I won't. Uh, I won't hit you until at least someone else is dead. All right, sounds good. <laughs> uh, right. Luminous, <laughs> Luminous Broodmoth yes, gets a plus one plus one counter, and I draw a card. Oh, I forgot. Um, Nikara trigger whenever Rayhan died. I lose a life and draw a card. Hmm. Sorry. Let's see. I'm going to sacrifice four treasures. <laughs> going down to one. Damnation. I will tap the Great Hinge. Gain two life. Damnation. And I will play Rishkar's Expertise. Fuck. What's that? So, uh, I draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures I control. Uh, Belladris Witherbloom is a 9-9. Nine nine, so hey, I who, will draw nine. Who made him a 9-9? Nine nine? Let's be real. <laughs> And then I get to put a card from my hand, mana value five or less, onto the battlefield. Wait, wouldn't he be an 11 11 because Ravos and the, the Sun? You are correct, so I will draw two more. Ooh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Kidian. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. I'm trying to five, have everybody five make me. mana or less. Hmm. I do have a couple of options. Uh, unfortunately, that is one too many. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna go with Athreos, God of Passage. Oh, brother. This guy, Athreos is. Uh, so, I believe he's online. Uh, Athreos is A T H R E O S, and he's the god of passage. Uh, but trigger on Kodama, something mana value three or less. Uh, hmm. You got any lands in your hand? You can just put a land in. There's no way you don't have a land in your hand. Yeah. I mean, I also haven't played my land drop for turn, so. He's about to ramp three whole lands here. At least. <laughs> well, I can put this Necroblossom Snarl out onto the battlefield, and it will be untapped, because I will reveal a Swamp. Ah. Cool. It does play uh, basics. And, and then I will play the Swamp as my land for turn. Okay. Would that trigger your Kodama? Um, uh, it does, but I no longer have any zero mana value spells That's in hand. wild. He drew 11 cards and saw two lands. One yeah. of them was already in my hand. Just being fully transparent. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> um, means he's got all gas in that hand. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, it really isn't. What you talking about, Cade? We're friends. Uh, yeah, yeah, for now. Yeah, until he's the last one there. I don't know. Your uh, mm. your your uh, your land came in untapped at the beginning, so. I swear. It sounds like we're opponents to me. Let's see, I think at this point, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and pass my turn. <laughs> Uh, There's no discard way. Discarding Village Rites, Moon Silver Key, Lightning Greaves, Mindstone, and Genesis. There's no way. Christ. 
We lived, guys. We lived. I told you there was nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. You passing your turn? Yes, my turn has been passed. Oh. Oop. And, that upkeep? Sure. and on your upkeep, I make a pest. And do you pay the two? No, I do not pay the two. Okay, both of those trigger Kodama, but as I said, no zero drops. Just a drop in the bucket, as it were. <laughs> He's gonna hurt, but I gotta do it. I think there's a huge disparity in our fields. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, one is going crazy, ain't it? Yeah, Gideon does have a lot of plus one plus one counters. Ah, I am the problem. <laughs> to me. <laughs> I did threaten you for 16 just last turn. You did? <laughs> oh. Having any regrets? Yes. As your command? Oh, steal command. What are command? you choosing? What's this spell? Be... How's this spell? It's Azure's command. A S A U S T E R E. It's their command, huh? Okay. Yeah, it is. Destroy all artifacts and destroy all creatures with convert mana cost four or greater. This barely that affects make me. me. A little sad. <laughs> okay, so question with that. Whenever that goes off, does stalking vengeance happen? It does. Yeah. And it does. does Crash proc as well when another yes. creature dies? Yes. yes. Okay. It so all, I... it sees all the events happen. Okay. So um, I, I think what's... Crash would uh, trigger, or like uh, cr you, Crash would so have... die at his current power. No. Okay. Actually, no. So he would get boosted. Uh, so up. so how how it works is since they're all of your triggers, you get able to stack them accordingly. So all you have to do is. You stack all the triggers above the death trigger from. Uh, it would be the all you have to do is put it as the last one to die, and then. Well, sort I want, of. It's I weird. want stalking vengeance to be the last one to die and crash to die right before it. Yeah, it works that way. Okay, well then, I think I'm gonna have a fucking nuclear bomb going off on one. Somebody person. dies. What's that? Somebody dies. I think. Yep. Yeah, someone definitely dies because he's gonna do like eighty damage because it gets yep. he's gonna get counters for every creature that dies. I think the Kodama will come back because of Luminous Brood Moth, correct? It will, and yeah. it comes back with a flying counter. Yeah, uh, but it does still die, so I have four creatures dying. What's a great hinge what and an power. Uh, so Belladris Witherbloom was an eleven eleven at the time. Okay, let me get my calculator out real quick. Uh -oh. <laughs> Are we all dead here? <laughs> we actually might all be dead. Calculator. Sean may have just handed Cade the game. <laughs> well, no, because... I, well, I couldn't we'll play. So that's 11? <laughs> yep, so okay. that's one creature. It was 11. Okay. Uh, Kodama did die, so he was an 8. So that's 8, okay. Nothing uh, of mine died. Luminous Brood Moth uh, had a plus one plus one counter on it, making it four, and then the other two things boosting it, so it was a six. Okay. So that's 25 so far. Go and on. Ravos um, had one plus one plus one counter on it, didn't it? No, it had two from Gideon, so it was five. It was a five? Okay, so that's 30. Yeah, that's and 30 then... power just from my creatures. Okay. Nothing of and mine you, died. Your counters, did your counters die as well? Your pests? No. no. They're zero CMC, and he only did four or greater. Okay, and then you said nothing died from you, Gideon? Nothing died of mine. Okay, well, what caused yours not to die? Uh, none of them are four CMC or higher. Oh, okay. And then nothing of yours died, Sean, right? How do you spell... Uh, yeah, nothing of mine died. How do you spell Crush again? K-R-E-S-H. K-R-E-S-H. Also, I have some triggers. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. <laughs> I need to okay. actually check this room. Yeah. So, Cade, I have a quick question for you. Yeah? And Bellagers Witherbloom come back to my hand, or do you want to take three damage? I think he can actually just 
kill you. <laughs> well, let, let, we have an alliance. Yeah, we do. I'm not, I said I wouldn't kill you until at least one other player is dead. All right, so, uh, so that's 30, and then my Metodic Slime is dying, so that's four more. So, and then Shiv and Devastator is going to die. That's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, no, his so, CMC is one. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay, so he's, he's going to survive. Okay. Okay, well, Metodic Slime is definitely going to die. I'm just going to go ahead and move it just so I can clear on my, on my brain. And these two oozes are coming out. But, um, okay. So, 34. So, he's already got a 16 on him. Yeah, uh, you could put it back in your hand, like, um, Josh. Okay. Uh, Luminous Bird Moth, can it come back into my hand? Or take three damage? Uh, what do you guys think? I think the, the Bird Moth is something that's got to stay. Yeah, it's got to stay. It's got to stay in the grave. All right, it's so I'll much. take three. I'll take three on that one, Josh. Okay. Bravo Soul Tender. That's back your in my hand. Commander, that right? is my commander. So if it goes to the graveyard, it's going back to the command zone, but okay. can it come to my hand? Yeah, it can go to your hand, sure. Okay. Okay, so uh, Crash is now, I'm going to move this off of him. He's a 53. 53. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> and then he dies, so. Gideon, you got a lot of stuff on the board, man. I do, I do have a lot of stuff. Uh, um, okay, uh, Sean, do you have any untapped mana? Nope. No, I do not. All right. He just shoots all my stuff. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna send fifty-three at, at you, Sean. Me? Okay. Damn. He crashed, dying. <laughs> so he wiped the board and died. <laughs> yep. And then well, uh, fucking Ben is gonna die itself. Yep. Um. Yeah. Which deals five damage, right? Um, well, whenever another creature you control, oh, another. Okay. but, uh, but my ooze did die. It's four more damage from the ooze dying. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to shoot that at Gideon because it goes to a player. Okay. I will go down to 31. Okay. And it's automatically Cade's turn. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Sean. Are you fine? It uh, had to go either, off somewhere. Yeah. I either had to uh, get rid of the portal sun or I yeah so it's my turn now yes sir <laughs> all right untapping drawing i've got eight are you paying flying, the two? are you paying the two? coming at me i know fuck it. guys fuck this is gonna look so good man all right well <laughs> man bastion of remembrance could have been out oh, oh man well are you paying the two um, anyway, I'm, you paying the two? Not, I'm not gonna pay the two. I'm not gonna pay the two. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay the two. Okay, so um, hmm. this is a toughie. Oh, my Ronus's monument is dead now. God. Yep. <sighs> oh well. Okay, so that's a yeah, that's a red, black, and a green, and then one, two, and a three, and I'm gonna bring out Prosh finally. Hey, hey. six kobolds of carekeep. Yeah, kobold, kobolds. Finally a lot of blockers. Out. It sure is. Ah, uh, that means I guess I got one target then. That's that's a bit cringe. <laughs> that is that is getting nervous over here, boys. All right. And then um, I'm going to tap one for black. I'm going to put Demonic Vigor on my Shivan Devastator. He gets a plus one, plus one, and when he dies, he comes back to my hand. That's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm just going to sneak that underneath him. All right. That's like a Tatsunari Toad Rider ass enchantment. <laughs> and uh, then... I'm going to have this. You don't have any flyers, right, Gideon? I do not. All right. Then I'm going to swing my 9-9 Shivan Devastator at you. Got to take nine, then. There are flyers and reachers in this deck. I just haven't seen them. That's Unforch. Unfortunate. All right. And then I pass my turn. Okay. So, untap. 
Oh, Keith. Noble Heritage. Who wants counters? No. I'm okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. You don't want counters? I think me and Josh might be alive for a minute longer. <laughs> Come on. You guys don't want to join me in having a... 1818 dog? I will draw for the turn. Yes. Do you pay, like, like to pay the two? You know what, Josh? I would. Okay. Josh, we're still good for a minute, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Wait, planes? No, man. <laughs> that damage you got at the beginning of the turn really, I mean, the beginning of the game really uh, set you off. Yeah, I, I don't appreciate being picked on when I have no creatures. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> oh, God. Especially when this deck is very good at having creatures, as demonstrated. <laughs> Damn, man. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, if I'm honest with you. Because there's this guy with a flyer who uh, thinks shit is cool. <laughs> I like I like hiding over here, man. I really like hiding. All right. So, the funny thing is, everybody's been scared of me, but I have done nothing to anybody. <laughs> I just been playing magic. You caused somebody to die from fifty-three damage. Yeah, I didn't do that. Stuff. They did it I to have... themselves. Yeah, but if you didn't have all that, that stuff, <laughs> I literally couldn't I mean, play magic. That's not my fault. <laughs> Yannick, you played the you played the card. My brother in Christ, you played the card. Actually, in fact, I didn't. <laughs> Yannick, can you spell that for me? Y a n n. I K. Yannick scavenging tunnel. Yes, sir. Thinking what I want to exile here. I don't want to pay five for a one one. I don't want to pay five for a one one. That's for sure. It's also going to trigger an offensa. But I kind of also want the card draw so that I can... Actually, hold on. I can stack this to where I can put... I can bolster the elephant and then exile the elephant. Then I will exile it. I don't know why I'm doing that. Just do erase it and put it over here. Because I don't think another generous gift is going to be played. Unless you guys are... Is he going to... Is he going to come back as an elephant, though? Uh, no. Uh, to tokens disappear forever when they leave the board. Oh, now, gotcha. Now I'll be able to distribute five plus one plus one counters. Yeah, they they, they hit whatever zone they go to, and then they vanish. Mm. That way, and death triggers still happen, but... I think for posterity's sake, I'm just going to put one on every one, of, one on every one, and it'll become two. And a legendary entered the battlefield, so Yoshimaru will actually get four. Uh, nice. So what's Yoshimaru sitting at right now? Yoshimaru is sitting at twenty-two. Damn. So if he gets if have he trample. No, it does not. Okay. So he's easily blocked, but if, if I had, like, Whisper Soap Cloak on him, somebody would be dead. That's badass. Uh, which Whisper Soap Cloak is in the deck somewhere. I don't know <laughs> where, but it is. Uh, you guys got a lot of stuff. Part of me wants to be like, oh, I need to chew through the stuff. Also, uh, I forgot, Nikara, thing with a counter, left the field, so I will draw a card and lose a life. Oh, wow. Uh... I'm very frightened, because Cade can probably murder me next turn. And Probably. You guys, you guys have this fraternized alliance that I can't. <laughs> I think you're the one that set the alliance up for us. I didn't know such thing. You hit me, and then you hit Cade. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
I'm playing the game of Magic the Gathering. Why does it make me the villain? Because <laughs> it's true. Commander. True. <laughs> I forgot that we. Were, I forgot what format this was again. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like try it. I know I'm gonna eat a pest for my troubles, but Yoshimaru's gonna come at Joshua. And Nakara is a six-six with menace coming at Cade. It's a uh, got menace. He's a it's got six-six. Yeah. All right, so it my two oozes are gonna block it and right. die. Both of them right. will die, and then I'll block with the pest. They'll split down into four oozes. Alrighty. And then my pest died, so I gained a life. Yep. Nice. <clears throat> so, unwittingly accepting my fate, I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Can you have water? Too much in my graveyard. Oh man. I've got all these cards in my graveyard in my graveyard deck. <laughs> I know. It's like, awful. Dude, it's so awful. Unfortunately, I only draw one card because he had to suicide and take my immortal son with him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I am going to do the thing that I always love to do when I play this deck. And... Just X-segmented us for a lot. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, that's way too boring. Torment of Hailfire is <laughs> for a lot. Uh, also too boring. Damn! This I get Torment is... of Hailfire in this deck. True, it's a very good card. And I have it in my favorite deck. But this, this is fun. This is very fun. So, green, green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Apex Devastator. God. Damn. Oh, jeez. If only we had our blue players still around, able to counter stuff. But so, somebody, Apex somebody Devastator. Like at you? <laughs> Apex Devastator is on the stack. Cascade, 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 Cascade. So, first those, Cascade. Do you have the, uh, do you have Tybalt's Trickery over there? No. <laughs> it's, that's red. No, I was talking oh, about... Oh, you were uh, asking Cade. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So first cascade is greater good. That's on the stack. Oh. Second one is poison tip archer. What a great one to go with greater good. Greater good's already on the board. Oh yeah. I'm well, no, just... they're all, they're all on the stack. The, it, the, it's the result. simultaneous cascade triggers. Um, and because you might have a response. Carador. I do not. I don't. Okay, know. so Carador Sad resolves no. first. Uh, so that is an 8 mana spell triggering Kodama. Who is, who is uh, and I will oh, put out you. Vigor. What did you call me? Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then our Guardian Project will right. enter the battlefield. So th these are going on the bottom of my library. I just gave you a piece of that. What? So uh, that is. My son's crying. Oh. Uh, so that is a four CMC spell, uh, and with that, I will grab my Eternal Witness onto the battlefield. Its ETB triggers. I will get back the Great Hinge. Brilliant. Then Poison Tip Archers enters the battlefield. Four CMC. Play Captain Sisse. Brilliant. Greater Good enters for CMC. Court of Bounty. I become the Monarch. And then Apex Devastator himself enters. 10 CMC. Returning of Belladris Witherbloom. Hey. Hey, you you run you, you're you're in black colors too, right? You got any board wipes in there? Mm -hmm. Let's see what I draw. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with losing all of this if I'm honest. Oh, he can pay ten life and just do more. You know what? That's a great idea. Oh, I'm gonna pay right. ten. Don't act like I gave it to you. It was already in your mind. I actually forgot I could do that. Oh, okay. 
And I missed some Guardian Project triggers, but you know what? We're just going to say I missed those. Is it a May event? Uh, if it doesn't have the same name... Uh, it just says draw a card. Yeah, it's not really something you can skip that in. Okay, so in that case, Guardian Project was the second thing to enter off of my Cascade. So Captain Sisse, Eternal Witness... Poison Tip Archer and Apex Devastator would all draw me a card, so that's four. Yep, sounds right to me. Okay. So cool. if, he, if he untaps, I think we're just uh, lights out, Kate, if I'm honest. I think you're right. Uh, in that case, I'm going to tap green, green for Galta Primal Hunger. Hey, Josh, when it comes around to my turn, can I interest you in some plus one, plus one counters? <laughs> You know, I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, and off of Galta, I'm going to get Zatalpa for Kodama's trigger. There's no way you're running that card. Oh, th I'm absolutely running that card. There's no way. It's can you so tell? Fun. Can you read off what each does? Because none of them are Zatalpa clicking. Zatalpa is essentially... Many... Zatalpa is a French vanilla card, so... Uh, so Zatalpa has, is flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, and indestructible, and is a 4-8. Nice. And Galta is a 12-12 with trample that costs X less, where X is the total power of creatures I control, mm -hmm. uh, making him only cost green-green. Gotcha. Um, and both of those will trigger Guardian Project. I draw two cards. Um... <laughs> it's a cool fun card um i am going to sacrifice the eternal witness to greater good uh which is that off of power yes so i will draw two cards and discard three um let's see i will discard Fauna Shaman, Arcane Signet, and Swamp. And then I will pay white, white, and four. And I will play a Sun Titan. Draw a card off my Guardian Project and trigger Sun Titan. I will get my Eternal Witness back. This is the longest seven minutes of my life. Sorry. <laughs> with Kodama's trigger on the stack uh, and I will play the Eternal Witness off of Kodama's trigger allowing me to get anything from my graveyard back to my hand What'd you get back with Sun Titan? I got the Eternal Witness It comes back to the battlefield, does it not? Oh, that's right, so I still have a Kodama trigger on the stack then, thank you uh, I got Luminous Broodmoth with Kate, the, Kate is over there going, will you shut your fucking mouth? <laughs> <laughs> this is the third time I've... <laughs> just this turn. So I'll just get the Sword of Hearth and Home off the Kodama trigger then. Ah! <laughs> um, <laughs> then I'm going to be probably a big fucking idiot. And I'm going... Wait, no, you can only do it once per turn. Okay, never mind. I was about to sacrifice <laughs> ten more life. Oh man, he could keep going is what that means. No, I can't. Uh, well, if I mean, you, if maybe. If that were true, if you could do it more than once a turn. Well, yeah, I mean, if I untap all my lands, then yeah, of course I could keep going. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, then, uh, what doesn't have summoning sickness? I think, I think, it's, think like it's just, Kodama just my and Kodama and my pests. And Athreos. Yeah, and Athreos. He's who definitely, is back to being online on my... again. <laughs> Oh, also, sorry, um, I sacrificed my Eternal Witness earlier, so uh, each opponent loses one life. Oh, okay. where does that come from? Poison Tip Archers. Oh. I just sacked your whole board. You probably win the game, I think. Uh, well, let's see how many creatures I have. One, two, three, I really three, need to four, shut up. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Nah, I wouldn't win the game. Yeah, but I wouldn't even kill one of the, you. You should do it for the comedy joke. Don't take the bait, Josh. <laughs> I'm not. Come on, Josh. Uh, so I'm going to. 
play a Canopy Vista, trigger Kodama, and play a Plains. And I'm sure Sean's over there like, yep, this is <laughs> this is what I was trying to fix and nothing happened. <laughs> yep. Then I will pay a green and my last treasure for the now. Uh, and I will play Great Henge. Are you still feeling good about where you directed the 53 damage, Cade? <laughs> I mean, no, I feel bad now, but I had already... <laughs> hey, none of it's coming at already, Cade right now. I had already said, you know, I wasn't going to hurt him, so I couldn't take back my word. So, you're fine, dude, you're fine. yeah, I think <laughs> I've done enough for this turn. Uh, I will go to my end step and draw for Monarch. Uh, you've done enough, you say? For this turn. It's ten minutes later. <laughs> All right. I'll untap. Ah, Are you sure? Oh, no, I haven't talked in so long. I forgot how to do it. Draw my... Right. Uh, would you like to pay the two? Josh um, is asking questions. I <laughs> don't think I will. Josh, how many flyers do you have? He's playing only the uh, So, let's questions. see. Kodama has a flying counter on him. I have Zitalpa, which is a 4-8 with double strike that has flying... Belladris down here is a 4-4 with flying. Uh, I think that's it for now. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So, um, just because I want to survive this, I'm going to tap a... Um... I mean, nothing's coming at you. No, 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 no. no. I'm, not, I'm not doing anything crazy here. Uh, I'm going to tap a... Gre uh, or, or, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll tap a, a red. I have not got basic lands for shit. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, real, real quick, Cade, before you do what I think you're about to do, I, I inquire you to read Vigor. What does Vigor do? Um, my creatures don't take damage, and if they would take damage, I get plus one, plus one counters equal to the damage. Okay, and then it, that's just permanently, or is it just As one long time? as I have Vigor. So okay. kill and it's plus one plus one counters. Damage should be dealt. Is it to other creatures or all creatures? It's my creatures. Uh, let's see. Another creature. So yeah, Vigor okay. can take damage. But yeah. I will say I do have access to three mana. Yeah, so... No, four mana. I forgot about the treasure. Poison-tipped archers. What does it do whenever another creature dies? Uh, whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. Ooh. Including my creatures, when they my creatures die. Yes. Ooh. Well, let's see. Yeah, you gotta do something like exile them instead. I mean, if that's bothering you, I can sacrifice it to greater good. I'm perfectly fine with that. Well, I mean, either way, I, I'm dead. <laughs> Either way, I'm dead. So, um, yeah, let's let's do it like this then. Um, all right. So I'm gonna tap two and a black. I don't play a Bastion of Remembrance. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I create a one-one white soldier token. I got a white soldier token right here. Points. Just gonna set him over there. White. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, on your upkeep, I forgot I made another pest. I don't have any zero drops in my hand, so that's all that mattered. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, that's fine. I'm going to sack six of my creatures here of my kobold of Kirkkeep to buff Prosh. As well as these four oozes, so that's ten. Oh, ten I, creatures. I know what's okay. happening. I know so what's happening. Both of you lose ten, and then I gain ten from Bastion of Remembrance, and then both of you lose so, ten. So yeah, I'll lose ten. Gideon will lose ten. You will stay the same. Correct. And then Gideon will lose another ten oh, from so mine. Dead. Oh, yeah. Gideon's just dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So Prosh is now a 15-5. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is where I said the game's over. <laughs> All right. Is it? If I had one, you want to give me one mana, Josh? Can I have one mana? 
<laughs> I don't think one medal would make Oh, you're difference. saying it's over for you. Yeah, it's over for me. <laughs> yeah, no. It's over for me. Um... This is oh me when babies. Um, I'll also sack the soldier, make him a sixteen, and okay. I'll go to I'll nine. And you'll it, yeah. you'll stay the same. I'll go to nine. Right, 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 right. Who took you out, Gideon? <clears throat> uh, Cade. I mean, half of the damage was for me. Half of the damage was for Josh. All right, I'll I'll tap a red and a black, and I'll play terminate against your vigor. Oh, damn. Uh, Wait a minute. In, Wait a minute. <laughs> in, in response, I'm going to tap Hold a white. On. What? Hold on. This, this is... Great hinge. I will gain two life to fairy's protection. Oh. Mm. I right, phase so, out. So you I'm can not here. phase out? Yep, I'm not oh, here until so my I turn. Can. I can't attack you. When is it? Whenever you're on your upkeep, you come back in? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I scoop then. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, dang. I thought we were about to see the, the comeback of the century. Because I, I had one more mana and you didn't have that, I had a murder to take out the poison tip archers to give me a bunch of health and maybe be able to survive your next Well, your next I, thing, I told but... you if it bothered you, I'd sacrifice it. Yeah, but I can't. You know, I can't be doing that. It's like metagaming, you know? <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have enough time for another game. So Aww. we there's yes. one thing I wanted to do a little small post game talk. What did we think about all that? That, that was, was fun. fun. That was fun. That went a little wild. I feel I feel bad for Sean because <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. Bro, no, I mean you fine. got you got fucked by mana, man. Yeah, Pokemon, yeah. Like, Pokemon, you, Pokemon's a wild game, guys. It is, you know, Ash. C couldn't catch them all, you know. It sucked. Um, no, I felt bad for your mana, dude. It was that was horrible. Yeah, if it was, you if had I was mana. actually making mana, it probably would have done a little bit better. But yeah, honestly, happens. I was so worried about you for some reason. I just got that vibe that you were going to counter everything I could do. So uh, I'm sorry <laughs> to fun. direct a nuclear bomb at you, and I should have directed it at Josh if we weren't, um, you know, at a, a armistice. So yeah, it, it, you're fine. Um, I think my deck did fine. Oh yeah, you yeah. did great. You did good. Yeah. You you, I, you were scary for almost the entire game. If that board yeah. wipe hadn't come, I think I might have been able to win pretty quick. But um, your command, a stalking stalking terror just does a fuck ton. And if I could get um, if I could get stalking terror out with crash and. And and in conj um, you know conjunction with uh, my commander, I could just start sacking stuff for free and doing fuck tons of damage. You know, I could just and it's not like you know I could just target you specifically. But anyway, that was really so. Cool. What I'm hearing is that I came into the end of the game that went in. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And there's one slot open. Well, I'm I'm about to like shower and then do my 24 hour stream. Which is still going uh, after. Uh, nice. Okay. What do you stream? Was, uh, just stuff. Okay. On just Twitch? I, yeah. I was about to say, I wish I was able to join you for the magic game, but I don't know if you're going to be doing that for the stream because I just got home. I might, do be, you doing, drop, I might be doing one on stream. I don't know. Uh, I suppose it makes sense. It is my video. Twitch.tv slash Jadan. Yep. Okay. Uh, I, I suppose since been... this is episode one, yep. I've uh, established myself as a villain. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> villain with Funko Pops, as they all have. Apparently. I, uh, I got lots of... This has been great. I had a lot of fun, even though I didn't I didn't win. I got to do my deck the way I wanted. Oh, oh that's nice. Sick. That's pretty cool. I made this. I 3D printed it and painted it myself. Is that a weapon from Destiny? Yeah, yeah. Sunshot. Hell yeah. Okay. But... So... Uh, so that has been episode one of Commander. I hardly know her. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. And I will see you. <laughs> I'd like to do this weekly. I'll see. I'll try to see you guys next week. These are always uploaded on. I want to say Wednesdays. That's the best day to upload shit. It's pretty good, good day. Stop the car! <laughs>